Hi there, I'm Tia Curtis with the Kansas City Modern Quilt Guild. This is month five of our block of every other month, and this month we're doing wonky stars. You'll notice we're in a change of environment. We're down in my studio where I spend every day sewing. This project got too big for the dining room. So let me talk a little bit about these stars. I love wonky stars. This is how I kind of got into my more modern, liberated quilt making. I learned from Gwen Marston, and you guys know how much I love her. So I made enough stars for this little border, but I also made enough to put in this quilt as well. I think the wonky stars make such a fun addition to any quilt. I don't know, can you even see where I put the stars? They're gone. They're over here. So, <laughs> but anyway, you can make this, these stars, you can make them for this quilt if you're following along with this one. You know, make them and put them in any quilt you make because they look great in everything. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do it and I hope you start loving them as much as me, okay? Okay, so for this block, it's going to turn out to be basically a nine patch. So you need eight blue squares, eight background squares. You need four squares that are going to be our star points. We're going to cut these in half diagonally to make eight star points and one center for your star. So we've got our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, our eight background squares, our eight star points, and our one center. Don't forget the center. That's muy importante. All right, so line up your and this this does there's no fancy way that you have to do this this is a very we're just gonna cut all right so you cut your triangle or your squares into triangles so now we have eight star points we have our eight background squares just go ahead and divvy them up into half so you've got four background squares all your star points leave your other background squares in your center by themselves. Let's look at a close-up of, of cutting these triangles. So you stack up your four squares on top of each other. Take a straight edge, take your cutter, and you cut them in half diagonally. It's pretty simple. You're going to piece these using a quarter inch seam. I like to use my quarter inch foot. It makes it, you know, it keeps things easy for me. So we've got our first four star points put on and you can just finger press those down. When you're finger pressing, just try not to distort the fabric too much. And there we go. So we're covering all the blue. Cut them all apart. Now, if you like to press, this is a good time to get up and press. But I'm just going to go ahead and use my finger pressing and trim away. So you trim away the yellow that's overhanging and then you trim off that blue bit on the back. So that's what you're left with. Trim away the yellow and the blue. Trim away the yellow and the blue. And if you're a more serious piecer, definitely take this over and use your rotary cutter after you've pressed it. All right, let's look at it from a different angle. This might help. So I've already sewn this one on and trimmed it. Now we're going to put on the other star, po star point. Do it with all four. And now let's just sew them down.
Okay, so we've got our little points all stitched down. Finger press them flat. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take these over to the iron, give them a real press and a real trim, and then we'll assemble the block. So you've sewn both points of your stars down. You press them with an iron. That's the proper way to do it. Always press your blocks. They're so much easier to quilt and they lay so much flatter if you press them. So now we've got them pressed nice and flat and we're gonna trim off the excess with my rotary cutter because that's the correct way to do it, not my quickie way with the scissors. Okay. So using your rotary cutter and a ruler, trim off the overhang, trim off this little blue bit, and move on to the next one. And again, if you're going to be making a bunch of these, just do them all. So all the star tips down, then do all the pressing, then do all the trimming and you'll have galaxies done before you even realize it. They really do go together quickly. All right. And definitely trim off behind the star point that you sewed down. Because if you don't trim that off, it makes it bulky. And if the fabric on top is lighter, you'll be able to see the dark through it the shadow and I, I think that looks ugly sometimes. Okay, so got your little bits and now let's put this block together. Okay, so now we're gonna put it together and it's just a simple nine patch, right? So this piece you roll over onto this one, this one to this one, and this one to this one and we're gonna sew them. sides and I don't even cut the thread between the blocks I just leave it Sew the like these three strips sew together. Finger press your center seams to the middle. These seams are gonna go this way and this way. Same with this one. That way they'll nest and they'll lay nice and flat. sewn on. Now we're going to sew this third part to the center. And voila! Here's our star. So I started with two and a half inch squares for this size block. This makes about a six inch block. This one is smaller. I started with these cute little one and a half inch squares. 
you can do whatever size you want one and a half inch two and a half inch three inch 12 inch you know this is your quilt you make it whatever size you want it to be but the next part that I did for my quilt is I needed them to go into a border so I needed to make these bigger and all you do to do that is you just add strips to make them be the size that you want them to be you know if something's too small you cut it down if something's too big you just add to it to make it bigger it's very simple stuff that's what makes you know all the quilts different I hope that you have enjoyed making these blocks I'll tell you for for my quilt and there'll be a still picture and I'll put one on the blog as well I used 13 large stars and 12 of the little ones so 13 that I used making two and a half inch squares and 13 using these one and a half inch squares okay well have a great day and I would love to see if you're making these this quilt it's, it's lots of fun all right I'll see you next time let me know if you have any questions okay bye